away, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing views here coming to us from Starbase, Texas. Uh, <laughs> Maximum aerodynamic pressure. And as the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing, Max Q. lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out Max. <laughs> Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. Hundred seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be shut down of the first stage. Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With shutdown, we will get separation of Starship and Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. And there's views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly, two minutes, 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation, where Starship should separate from the Super Heavy booster. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake.
last flight. to clear the pad and make it this far into the test flight, the first integrated flight of the booster and the Starship vehicle. Live view there of our control center at Starbase, uh, which we refer to as Star Command. <laughs> as we said before, obviously we wanted to make it all the way through, <laughs> but to get this far, honestly, is amazing. <laughs> well, if you're just joining us, Starship just experienced what we call a rapid unscheduled disassembly or a rud during ascent. But now this was a development test. This is the first test flight of Starship. And the goal was to gather the data and as we said, clear the pad and get ready to go again. So you never know exactly what's gonna happen. But as we promised, excitement is guaranteed. Gather some data. How does this vehicle perform? And undoubtedly they have a lot of work to do over the next few weeks and months. As we mentioned at the start of today's program, any and all the data that we collected during the test is going to help us with further development of Starship, and it's going to improve the vehicle's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multiplanetary. It's really worth noting that the flight path was designed to be over water and all the air and sea space along with that flight path and those surrounding areas were cleared in advance of the test. And of course, we're going to be coordinating with local authorities for the recovery operations. But honestly, what an exciting morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we had a successful liftoff from Starbase, Texas at 8.28 a.m. Central Time. Uh, we cleared the tower, which honestly was our only hope. <laughs> we cleared the tower and all the data that we collected all the way through, um, the, all those Raptor, those 33, although I think we saw that three Raptor engines were out, um, but we got all that data and I, we got so far as to hoping to see the, the Starship, the second stage, separate from the first stage, the super heavy booster. And unfortunately, we didn't make that happen, but that's okay. It was the first integrated launch. Um, and honestly, today was amazing. <laughs> Absolutely incredible day. Uh, we made it through a number of those initial uh, test objectives with getting booster ascent, getting all the way through the countdown, working some issues yep. at the end. Like, totally really fantastic tanked. day. Got through the gate of T minus 40 seconds on the second try. Everything was <laughs> out of the way. And then we got the vehicle off of the pad through max Q all the way up to stage separation, even starting into the prep for stage up. And then, as we say, a lot of excitement. <laughs> yep. Honestly, my face has had a smile on it since liftoff, and now my face hurts. <laughs> now, since we don't have any insights on the cause of our rapid, unscheduled disassembly at this point, we're going to end our webcast here. Teams will continue to review the data and work toward our next flight test. But before we go, a big congrats to the entire SpaceX team on an exciting first integrated flight test of Starship. And of course, a shout out to our viewers. We appreciate you joining us. And as always, we thank you for your interest in Starship, SpaceX, and your ongoing support. Till next time. Like we, we saw ignition, we, we saw the dust cloud, we were all expecting. And at that point, my eyes were just on the top of the vehicle, just, just watching and waiting and hoping to see it start to move off the pad. And sure enough, you start to saw it climb up, start, start to see it climb, I can't even talk, I'm sorry. We can see it climb off the pad, and it it did kind of a, a I don't even know a tower avoidance I, maneuver. I don't even know what you know. Yeah, I that also was saw. I think. Yeah, I, uh, Jack. I also think I saw multiple raptors flaming out because you you could see while it climbing like it, it suddenly just started to emitting like a red flame, and I think there was just raptors flaming out. I don't know it. Oh, it, this was like I, I yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I have to confess, from my from my perspective, it was mostly an auditory experience. Um, it basically it climbed into clouds almost immediately. But here's the thing, it was amazing. I mean, I'm looking at a photo. I'm editing a photo <laughs> right now, and it's it's utterly insane. I'm so beyond happy with how that went. But.
the sound. I cannot. I, Jack, I don't even know. Jack, you were you were like four miles away. We were six miles away. You were four miles away over there, weren't you? Yeah, uh, that was insane. Like, I've, I've never heard a sound <laughs> like that. Not in my entire life. Not ever. Not once. Of all the rocket launches I've ever seen in my entire life, of all the cool things I've seen in, uh, that I've been fortunate enough, let's be honest, I've been fortunate enough to see in my entire life, I've never seen anything like that. Like, that was just utterly, utterly in. Insane. I, I cannot wait to go back and watch all the footage. I cannot wait to go back and watch our stream and and uh, and, and grok what's going on. I've got a photo for you here. I'm gonna throw it in uh, in the old uh, control center if you if you want to sh- nice. put it up there. And in the meantime, uh, since I, we're waiting on that replay, I'm going to go edit that, uh, get that up for you guys. Hopefully, in the next few minutes. Uh, in the meantime, I am going to sign off temporarily, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Nice. And folks, you know, you know what we're doing. Um, we have all the different things that comes into our systems. We have prints that are going to come out. We have videos. We're going to have clips and replays and all sorts of stuff. So if you thought that was the whole show, every one of our cameras that you didn't see during the launch, during, during the actual live stream, we are pulling that now so we can show it to you. So that is what we're up to. Don't go anywhere. We have all sorts of replays and recaps and still photos coming in from the remote cameras and all sorts of stuff happening right now i'm starting to ping the people that i know this stuff is coming from we got this image coming from jack um oh wait a second that's my view though look at my view on the screen did my stream feel no my stream didn't freeze because there's not a rocket on the pad anymore am i the only one talking am i even, am I even here anymore <laughs> I, I, I can't even i'm I'm sorry. 